are here at uh, Shahbaz Gadi Archaeological Site, and I'm joined by the Dr. Rajiv Sahab, who professionally is working as an in charge of Mardan Museum. Could you please explain us what is Big Rock? What are the inscriptions mentioned here? Uh, madam, this is a uh, Haroshti uh, script, and uh, in Shahbaz Gadi we have two rocks. And, uh, these are famous because these are almost 2,000 years old, and it is uh, famous because due to the, uh, this religion. Uh, here we have found uh, uh, the, uh, the propagation of Buddhism because uh, in this script uh, Ashoka wants to mention that uh, which are the main principles of uh, Buddhism, uh, what we need to do in Buddhism. So it is actually for the propagation of Buddhism. And uh, for the first time, these boulders were mentioned in the, uh, 1836 by 1836 by General Court, who was uh, the commander of Ranjit Singh Army. So here, I would like to uh, clarify what does the word edict mean. Edict basically is the royal statement that has emanated from Ashoka's mouth, and these are the inscriptions that are that are engraved either on the stones, on rocks, or on the uh, columns that were erected during his time. So these are the instructions of how to live your life within the Buddhism sphere. What is the uh, scripture of this inscription? Uh, it is known as uh, Haroshti script, uh, which was originated from Aramic script. And it is uh, according to some scholars, it is also said that uh, Aramaic is actually the Armenian script and we have borrowed from them. And uh, later on, it is converted to Haroshti. As a researcher myself, I have read uh, and discovered that Haroshti script begins from right to the left. Mm -hmm. And this is the way it is written. Mm -hmm. And uh, Haroshti script is basically found in the northwest of the subcontinent. Mm -hmm. Whereas the Brahmi script mm -hmm. is, is present in present day central mainland India. And the difference between both the scriptures is that Brahmi script is written from left to right and Haroshti is written from right to left. Haroshti is actually the old one. And Brahmi later on Brahmi was introduced. Okay. So uh, if we have found any uh, rock where uh, some script is uh, inscribed, so we can date it on the basis of this script. It is this Haroshti, so it means that it is older, older than Brahmi. But as we have said that Ashoka has spread religion mm -hmm. of Buddhism from India, don't you think that the original script could have been the Brahmi script? In that time, uh, Brahmi was not present. This is your claim? Uh, this, uh, no, according to scholars. In that time, Barami was not present. Actually, the Achaemenian rules dated up to 600 BC, while Ashokan rules are Mauryan rules uh, up to up uh, later up to, uh, 300 BC. So we have almost 300 gap there. And from Aramaic, uh, Haroshti was introduced, originated. So where are we heading now? We are going to the uh, next track, which is uh, smaller in size from this one. And uh, we uh, we have only one uh, rock edict, which uh, is uh, number twelve. Um, there are seven sets of Ashoka's fourteen rock edicts. So two out of those seven sets, two are present here in modern day Pakistan. Uh, one set of Ashoka's rock edict is present in uh, in Mansera, and the other one is here. At Shehbazgari. It was uh, discovered for the first time in 1836 by General Court, who found these inscriptions and mentioned it. Later on, uh, Alexander Cunningham, which is also known as the founder of uh, uh, Indian archaeology, so he visited the site and uh, in the British period, this uh, Haroshi script was deciphered and they know what is the meaning of these writings and why these are mentioned here. Anyway, this, the way towards the rock was quite thrilling. 
So what is the theme of Ashoka's inscriptions? The main theme of uh, Ashoka inscription is how to live a peaceful life and how to do good things in life, particularly with each other and with animals. Because in that time, the animal sacrifice, the sacrifices is very common. So here he mentioned that not to sacrifice any sacrifice animals and not to respect your uh, teachers, respect your parents, particularly the, our relatives, how we need to live with them. So the general uh, message of Ashoka is uh, about our life, to how to spend our life. After embracing Buddhism, Ashoka became the biggest supporter and he propagated Buddhism through his inscriptions in different forms. The inscriptions were written on boulders, either on the erected columns or on the uh, walls of the caves. But right now here we are at Shehbaz Gari. Here we have two boulders that inscribe his own instructions about how one should spend uh, his life within the sphere of Buddhism.